In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front brake calipers on this Chevy Silverado 2500. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel. This is an aftermarket wheel, so it has different lug nuts than normal. You would use a 22 millimeter socket to take those off. So we're going to do that now. Now remove the wheel. On the back side, you can see where there's two little caps for the bolts for the caliper. I'm just gonna use a pick. They're just rubber. You wanna take those caps off. Just get in behind them. They peel off. Save those for later. Take those off. Using a 10 millimeter hex socket, we're gonna take these caliper bolts out. Line those up. And pull those out. And pull that out. Just grab the caliper, wiggle it back and forth a little bit. If you need to, you can use a pry bar. Slide that off. Using a caliper hanger, just hang it from the upper control arm. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Take the brake pads off. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take these two bolts off for the bracket. They're gonna be on there pretty tight. and grab the bracket and slide it off. We're gonna separate the caliper from the bracket on the back side. Pop these little boots off. Just use a pick. Get under there, pull that off. And same with this side. Using a 10 millimeter hex socket, take these two pins out. So for this caliper, the rubber pin is gonna be closest to the bleeder screw. That's gonna be at the top. So keep that in mind. Here's the bracket. Just before we put this on, I'll just give it a thin coat of grease. And take the pad clips. Line those up. Now you can install the bracket on the vehicle. Slide the bracket over the rotor. Take the bolts. You can put a little thread lock adhesive on the bolts. I'm going to torque these bolts to 220 foot-pounds. Put the brake pads on. The one on the outside is going to have the warning indicator at the bottom. Take the 
caliper and slide it over, over the brake pads. Take the pins, the lower one is gonna be the one without the rubber sleeve. Get that one started and then get the top one in. I'm gonna to torque these to 77 foot-pounds. Take these rubber caps, you wanna put those back in. Take the banjo bolt off the new one. There's two seals. You're gonna have one seal go to the base of the bolt, and then the other seal is gonna go on the other side of the line. Take the hanger off the caliper. I'm gonna take the hose off. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket. You might want a drain bucket underneath. You're gonna lose some fluid. Take the bolt out. And there's no seal on there, so that's good. Before you do this, it is always a good idea to double check the fluid level in the master cylinder, just to make sure. I'm just gonna clean this up with a wire brush. in the bottom side. And we'll wipe it off. Make sure there's no grease in there. Now take the banjo bolt, there's one seal right there. The other seal in the bottom. and line it up in the caliper and get it started. Snug that up. Now I'm gonna to torque this bolt to 30 foot-pounds. Take off this rubber cap. You can just use a pick or a screwdriver. Just slide it off. Now we're gonna start by gravity bleeding the brakes using a 10 millimeter wrench. We're gonna open up this bleeder screw. You wanna make sure you have a drain bucket underneath and the brake fluid reservoir is full of brake fluid. Open that up. It may take a little while, but you wanna make sure there's a good drip coming out of there, which there is. Now we'll close that up. Snug that up. Now with an assistant, I'm gonna have them pump the brake pedal. Go ahead and pump the brake pedal. Nice and slow. And this is filling up the caliper with brake fluid. It's pushing the pistons towards the brake pads. And give it one more pump. And hold it. While they're holding it, I'm gonna open the bleeder screw. Got some air. Close the bleeder screw. Go ahead and pump it again three times. Then they're gonna hold it. Open it up again. I didn't see any air in there, so that looks good. We'll close this up, snug that down. 
All right, go ahead, pump it up and just make sure it feels good. I'm just gonna clean this off with some brake parts cleaner. And take the cap, put it back on. Put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts in. And snug them up. Now I'm gonna to torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. And check the fluid level and adjust accordingly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.